So say we have um, our aluminum sulfate. So take that aluminum sulfate and you write your dissociation equation. So it breaks up into your aluminum 3 plus and your sulfate 2 minus. Now balance it. It's, it's straightforward to balance things because everything's uh, kind of by itself. So you have two aluminums in the compound, so you need to put a two in front of your aluminum ion. And you have three sulfates, so you can put a three coefficient in front of your sulfate. All right, so I'm given information about my aluminum sulfate. So that's my G for given. And I want to find out the concentration of aluminum ions, and I want to find the concentration of sulfate ions. So, let's do aluminum first. So you take your given concentration, multiply it by wanted over given, and so the mole, the molarity of your aluminum ion is 0.1 mole per liter. Then my sulfate, am I going too fast? It's okay. Then my sulfate, um, again you take your given concentration, multiply it by wanted over given, And your concentration is 0.15 moles per liter. <clears throat> okay, last one. Or is this our last one? No? We have a couple. Okay. So Calculate the concentration of dissolved sodium phosphate decahydrate that gives 0.3 mole per liter concentration of sodium ions. So again, you write out your dissociation equation. You don't need to worry about the H2O because it's like saying you're dissolving H2O and H2O. So you write out your sodium ions. and your phosphate ions. So you need to balance it, and again, you can leave your H2Os. So the only thing you have to change is your sodium, three. So this time, though, we're given information about our products, or after ionizing, or sorry, dissociating. So this is now our given. So the sodium ion is our given, and our wanted is the sodium phosphate. So to find our concentration of sodium phosphate, we take the concentration of given, multiply that by wanted over given, And that concentration is 0.1 moles per liter. Excellent. Okay. Next one. Calculate the concentration of sodium ions in NaCl solution made by dissolving 6.33 grams of sodium chloride in 150 milliliters of water. So first, you have to calculate the concentration. You're not given concentration. So concentration needs to be in moles per liter, but you're given grams. So first you have to calculate grams into moles. So I'm given 6.33 grams, my molar mass is 58.44. So 
put your moles as mass divided by molar mass. So your moles 0 0.108, et cetera, moles. And so then you have to find your concentration of that sodium chloride. So C equals N over B. So you take that moles that you found, divide it by 0.15 liters. And we have 0.722 moles per liter. So now you actually have a concentration to work with. And we're asked to find the concentration of sodium ions. So my sodium chloride, the stuff I just found out, is my given. And my sodium ions is my wanted. Now since it's a one-to-one -one ratio, you can clearly see that they're going to be the same concentration without doing times unit by one, right? Um, but if we were to write it out, it would be times wanted over given. And so our final concentration of our sodium ions is 0.722.